All right, we're gonna break the internet with this one. We're gonna do a bacon wrapped cranberry glazed turkey breast. First thing we gotta do is we gotta get the glaze working. So I've got a little pot. Oh man, I really wish I had a bigger pot. So I'm gonna get a bigger pot. All right, now we got the correct size pot. It's actually too big, but that's okay. We're gonna put it on the end, the direct side over here. And we're gonna melt some butter. As our butter starts to melt, we're gonna go ahead and add our cranberry juice. Cranberry sauce, Dijon mustard, honey, packed brown sugar, some orange zest, and then some Rasa Ruski's Honey Rib Rub, baby. All right, we'll come back in about five minutes to see what it looks like. All right, the next step is to create our bacon weave that's gonna go around our delicious turkey breast. I've got some Rectech butcher paper here set out. Uh, and then essentially we're just gonna lay out six pieces of bacon. Bacon works a lot better if it's cold. Try to get them as close as you can to each other. That is definitely gonna serve you well later on when we go to put it around our turkey, okay? Now, every other piece of bacon I'm gonna pull back. Now I'm gonna place it right down the center. Put those pieces of, put that piece of bacon back. Pull back the other three. Put another slice of bacon. Repeat that. So you've got yourself a fancy schmancy bacon weave. All right, now that we've got our bacon we've created, we're gonna put this in the freezer. That's right, we're gonna put this in the freezer. That way it locks into place and it's much easier to lay onto our turkey breast. So I'm gonna put this in the freezer. The next step after creating that bacon weave is seasoning up that turkey breast. See this turkey breast. I brined overnight in the Rectech Sweet Tea Brine. Check it out online. Got that bad boy super moisturized in that brine. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the skin. That's right, everybody. We're gonna remove the skin from this bird because our bacon weave is essentially going to act as our skin. Now, chef tip, if you want to, you can actually pull this skin off, lay it as flat as you can on a baking sheet, season it up with some Rossaruski's Honey Rib Rub, put it in the grill about 400 degrees, come back in about 10 minutes and check it, pull it off when it's crispy, I promise you, it's gonna be one of your favorite new things to do for Thanksgiving. You need to use that Rectech paring knife to get a lot of, get some of that stuff off of there for you. You're just trying to get off any of that excess fat that didn't come off with the skin. Gobbledygook, as Greg would call it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna season this bad boy up. I'm a huge fan of the combo of the Russell Ruski's Honey Rib Rub and the Colton's Freaking Greek. Since I know I'm gonna need to maneuver this turkey around and get all of the crevasses. Just gonna go ahead, cover it up with the gloves. Just make it a little bit more sanitary. Okay. Layer of Rossaruskis. Layer of Coldens. Layer of Coldens, layer of uh, Rasa Ruskies. Man, that's got some beautiful color already. The next step, 
We're gonna surround this bad boy in bacon weave. We gotta go back to the freezer to get it, so be right back. All right. Now there's, there's kind of a trick to this. Uh, again, if you use a thought out piece of bacon weave and you go to put it on there, it's more than likely just gonna come apart. Okay, so I found in cooking these a couple of times that your frozen bacon weave is gonna be your best friend, okay? Why? Well, because it's gonna hold together, okay? Um, and this thing isn't frozen solid, but it'd be pretty close, it's pretty close, right? Um, but that's okay because the cool thing is is that when this cools, it's gonna completely cover this bad boy right here, okay? Now, this is an important part right here. We need to start securing our bacon weave, okay? Or it's just gonna go all crazy on us, right? So what I like to do is just kinda do the four corners first. That way I know it's being held on. All right, so that looks great. It's held in place. We're gonna give it some final color, that Rossaruski's Honey Rib Rub right there on the outside, okay? I like to get a dish that it can sit in, okay? To hold it upright. There, and your toothpicks actually kind of hold it in place as well. So I chose the mesquite pellets for this cook. I really want that wood flavor imparted into this delicious turkey. Uh, so that's why we chose mesquite today. Again, we're going on the indirect side at 325 degrees till we get an internal temperature of about 160 degrees, okay? Let's go on in. Boy, oh boy, <laughs> y'all, this bacon wrapped cranberry glazed turkey breast is guaranteed to win you over this Thanksgiving. You'll have to give it a try. All you have to do uh, is let it rest about 15 to 20 minutes, just like your big turkey, okay? Put it on your cutting board, slice both of those big breasts off of there, chunk them up, and it's ready for Thanksgiving day, baby. You're getting the sweet, from the cranberry, you're getting the saltiness from the bacon, just a flavor explosion in your mouth. Try it this Thanksgiving season. Make sure you follow in Rec Tech on all social media and check out all of the other amazing videos. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that follow button. My name is Jody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. You can follow me on all social media at Barbecue Dad Jody. From everybody here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters, we'll see you at the Rec Tech. Can't wait to show this off to my family. Woo!